Hi and welcome to our first workshop. Uh, we're doing an easy task in Photoshop today. And we had that in the group already, but here is as a video. So first we start with opening just any image in Photoshop, like I've done here already. And then we create a new layer. You can do that by clicking Control and J or you can go up here to layer, duplicate layer, and then just click OK. So now you see that you have a new layer here. And since this photo is a bit too bright, well, actually a lot too bright, I choose a different blend mode here. So usually I try about five of them. Let's try hard light then soft light overlay sometimes i use screen or lighten and multiply so in this case now i'm using multiply and we now want to apply a texturizer filter on it usually you just go up here to filter and you see filter gallery here is grayed out always try to use this one here and not the one on top because the one on top just applies the last filter you have done when this is grayed out it means that your image is in a higher bit rate so it's probably 16 or 32 bit so you just go to image mode and then change it from 16 bits or 32 bits to 8 bits then go back to filter and now you see the filter gallery is available. Click on it. Then we resize it down here to the left. You see 100%. Just click on it and fit in view. Now you have loads of options over here. That's artistic. It takes a while to render. But what we really want is the texturizer texture texturizer. So now you have a few options here. You can choose a different texture like brick, burlap, canvas or sandstone. I just use canvas for this example. You can change the scaling here. Just use a little bit of it and how the and the yeah. Just play around with it. And if you're happy with it, just press OK. If the effect is too strong, you can change it here by opacity and you can lower it here. So I just go down to about 85% and that is fine. When you're finished, just click on layer, flatten image that reduces it to one layer. And if you had it open from within Lightroom, then you just click the X and click on save then. If not, you can go to File, Save As, and then just choose the location and save it there. Okay, have fun. I'm looking forward to see your entries. Thank you.